Protests broke out across Pakistan over the mob violence in Faisalabad district a day after a mob burned down an estimated 21 churches and several homes. The mob wanted to bring two local men to justice for alleged blasphemy. The blasphemy has been a flashpoint in Pakistan where vigilante mobs have killed people accused of insulting Islam. We request the government of Pakistan and especially President of Pakistan, Prime Minister of Pakistan, Chief of Army Staff and Chief Justice of Pakistan to take strong measures to stop and eliminate terrorizing and hurting activities towards the minorities in the name of religion and execute sufficient confidence to the religious minorities in Pakistan. <laughs> और हमारी कुमार से गुजारिश है कि कम से कम इतना तो करें कि ऐसे वाकयात में मलबस किसी एक मुस्लिम कोई कैफ़ेरे के दार तक पहुँचाएं किसी क्योंकि आज तक इस तरह के जितने भी वाकयात हुए हैं उनमें से किसी एक को भी सजा नहीं मिली the Christians in fact make up about 2% of the population in Pakistan and occupy one of the lowest rungs in Pakistani society. More than 5,000 of them live in the Christian quarter which was targeted by the mob. The rampage reportedly went on for almost about 10 hours before the local authorities of course intervened. Several families who returned to their homes said that they had to flee from the mob to escape and save their lives. In the aftermath of the initial hours of the riot, hundreds more evacuated through the night. The outflux continued the next day as well. The police have now arrested more than 100 people allegedly linked to the violence and are searching for two local brothers who are accused of blasphemy. The members of the newly appointed interim cabinet in Pakistan took oath on Thursday. And this comes days after Pakistan dissolved its National Assembly and announced that Anwarul Haq Kakar as its caretaker Prime Minister. Eighteen cabinet members were sworn in by President Arif Alvi and six special advisers and three advisers are also part of the new cabinet. Soon after the oath-taking ceremony, the caretaker ministers were assigned their portfolios by the interim Prime Minister Kakar. But as Pakistan scrambles to stabilize its government, a certain appointment has now raised eyebrows across the border. To take a look at this name, Mishal Hussein Malik. Mishal has been appointed as the special advisor to the Prime Minister for Human Rights and Women Empowerment. But what is her India connection? Well, she happens to be the wife of the Kashmiri separatist Yasin Malik. Yasin happens to be behind bars at this moment in India. He's serving a life sentence in a case related to terrorism and secessionist activities in the Kashmir Valley. Let's now take a look at the timeline of Yasin Malik's terror activities against India. In 1999, Yasin Malik was arrested by the Indian authorities under the Public Safety Act. Three years later, he was again arrested under the Prevention of Terrorism Act and was detained for almost about a year. And in 2013, the Kashmiri separatist had shared the dice with the banned lashkar e taiba chief Hafiz Muhammad Saeed at a protest site in Islamabad. In 2019, the NIA had arrested the JKLF chief in connection with the case related to the funding of terror and separatist groups. In 2020, he was charged under various acts for attacking 40 Indian Air Force personnel in Rawalpura, Srinagar on the 25th of January 1990. In May 2022, Yasin had pleaded guilty to all charges against him, following which the NRA had convicted him.